As the demand for meat continues to rise, ranchers across the United States are sounding the alarm about a record drop in cattle production that threatens to create a disastrous meat shortage. With significant retailers already bracing for the impact, this looming crisis has the potential to drive up prices and leave consumers scrambling for alternatives. But what's causing this unprecedented decline in cattle production? And how can we ensure that our meat supply keeps pace with demand? With expert insights and hard-hitting analysis, this video is a must-watch for anyone who cares about the future of our food supply. U.S. cattle farmers continue culling their cattle at near record rates, and analysts say it will cause a meat shortage beginning this summer. Over the last several years, extreme drought in the United States has led farmers to cut their herd levels by shipping more animals to the slaughterhouse. Naturally, cattle prices would fall due to this. Still, current inflation and strong demand have pushed the cost of cattle to all-time highs, and any future reduction in supply is likely to have a similar effect on consumer expenses. The situation has become so dire that major retailers are already bracing for the impact, investing in expensive new technologies and strategies to mitigate shortages. But with the current projections, even these measures may not be enough to prevent a crisis. The current state of drought in the western region of the United States is alarming, with over 80% of the area affected by extreme water scarcity for the past year. But the situation has worsened lately, as a week-long heat wave has affected nearly 80 million individuals nationwide, including farmers and ranchers who have experienced its impact. This extreme weather event has brought things to a boiling point, putting enormous pressure on these professionals and exposing the vulnerabilities of the U.S. agricultural sector. As the consequences of climate change become more evident, urgent actions need to be taken to protect the environment, ensure food security, and support the livelihoods of farmers and other stakeholders across the country. The livelihoods of many ranchers in the United States have been significantly affected by the drought, forcing them to sell their cattle in large numbers. They take this drastic action because their animals' lives are at risk due to the extreme weather conditions. The situation is critical, and numerous ranchers throughout the country are facing the prospect of financial collapse. In recent years, the cost of livestock rearing in the U.S. has skyrocketed to astronomical levels, putting a severe strain on the financial resources of many farmers. In addition, high feed costs, fertilizers, fuel, and farming equipment have become the norm, adding yet another burden to an already torturous situation. To make matters worse, these farmers are facing an acute shortage of grass and water, further depleting their herds and leaving them with no choice but to sell their cattle in unprecedented numbers. The toll of this ongoing drought crisis on people and animals cannot be emphasized enough. Ranchers stare right into the bottomless pit of financial ruin while their cattle's lives hang in the balance. It is an appalling situation requiring urgent attention and intervention from the government and the larger community. Something must be done to alleviate the burden on these farmers and prevent a long-term disaster that will impact our food systems and the broader economy for several years to come. In autumn of 2022, thousands of additional cattle were sold by producers to compensate for the scarcity in feed supplies, as stated by Stuart Smythe, an associate professor in the College of Agriculture. This unfortunate turn of events was reportedly problematic for consumers, who had to bear the brunt of the livestock shortage. The United States habitually imports corn and feed from Canada during severe food scarcity periods. However, last year, the neighboring nation was also grappling with similar supply chain issues, according to Dennis Lee Kraft the executive vice president of the U.S. Cattle Association. Despite the potential benefits of importing feed, it is not always a solution for the problem. To manage extreme situations, cattle producers have become accustomed to adapting to challenging scenarios, as highlighted by Lee Kraft. Unfortunately, several regions are still dry this spring, and some areas are suffering from similar dire conditions as in 2022, which resulted in producers selling their livestock, as mentioned by Smythe. Please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the video so far. According to recent reports from the United States Department of Agriculture, as of July 2022, the nation's inventory of cattle and calves has decreased by 2.2 million from the same period the previous year. The decline in numbers is mainly attributed to a mass liquidation of the U.S. beef cow herd. The situation is further exacerbated as beef cow numbers for July have dropped by 6.3% from 2021. A closer analysis reveals that persistent drought conditions, rising feed prices, and the ongoing effects of the pandemic have contributed to this alarming trend. 
This unfavorable trend in cattle inventory is expected to have far-reaching implications on the agriculture industry and the economy as a whole, given that beef production and beef products contribute significantly to the U.S. economy. With such a significant decline in numbers, stakeholders in the agriculture sector will inevitably need to reconsider their strategies to ensure the continued sustainability of the beef industry in the U.S. Farmers are currently grappling with a multitude of challenges that are exacerbating the already dire situation caused by the severe drought. In addition to the high demand and supply chain disruptions, farmers are contending with the inflationary costs of vital inputs like feed, fertilizer, and fuel. Furthermore, the cost of feeding cattle has been further compounded by the ongoing war in Ukraine, which is responsible for producing nearly half of the world's grain supply. Moreover, the price of corn has reached its highest point in the last 10 years, with a bushel now costing an additional $1.25 compared to the previous year and a whopping $3 more than in 2019, as per industry data. The cumulative effects of these challenges weigh heavily on the farming community, making it increasingly difficult to remain afloat amidst these daunting circumstances. In addition to the challenges local cattle producers already face, they must bear the burden of excessive price hikes for critical supplies such as minerals premix, proteins, and additives. These items, which can extend feed supplies and improve the quality of poorer feed, have experienced price increases of over 50% making them prohibitively expensive for most producers. Furthermore, the hay shortage has further compounded the difficulty of raising healthy cattle. Although all types of hay are currently in high demand and scarce supply, the scarcity of this vital component makes it an invaluable commodity for those who have access to it. This grim reality highlights the pressing need to address these issues and support local cattle producers to maintain their livelihoods and provide quality products to consumers. The farming community faces the daunting challenge of dealing with exorbitant prices from fertilizers. As natural gas costs have skyrocketed to unprecedented levels, nitrogen-based fertilizers such as ammonia have surged from around $700 per ton to a whopping $1,600 per ton. This massive spike has added an enormous financial burden to farmers' pursuit of agricultural excellence. Moreover, the sanctions imposed on Russia have led to a critical shortage of potash, a vital potassium-rich fertilizer, and brought the prices to an historic high of over $1,100 per ton. This scarcity has substantially affected crop yields and could potentially destabilize the entire agriculture industry in the long run. Farmers' struggles with these rising fertilizer costs are further compounded by the pressure to keep up with modern agricultural practices and produce enough crops to meet the ever-growing demand. The cumulative impact of these challenges has left the farmers vulnerable and financially stretched, significantly hampering their ability to maximize their agricultural output. According to research by the University of Illinois, pesticide prices have increased by 25% this year in central Illinois, which is considered one of the world's greatest producing areas of maize and soybeans. In addition, severe constraints on supply chains have also contributed to a 20% increase in the price of maintaining agricultural tools. Given this situation, it's evident that the food supply system in the United States is highly susceptible. Food expenses are now 12% more costly than in 2022, coinciding with a decrease in meat output. In a nutshell, increased scarcity of in-demand goods like beef would drive up their respective costs. There is a nationwide food shortage right now, and it's worsening. It is clear that the situation in the United States is dire and urgent interventions are necessary. Without swift action to mitigate the effects of this drought crisis, we risk pushing an already vulnerable agricultural sector over the edge, leading to dire economic and social consequences. The time to act is now. By taking a holistic approach to the crisis, we can ensure that farmers and ranchers can protect their livelihoods and prevent an even greater crisis from unfolding. Therefore, it is imperative that we come together to support our agricultural sector and help ensure food security for all. Only then can we hope to emerge from this crisis positively. We owe it to our farmers and ranchers and ourselves. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and watch this one as well.